Assalamu alaikum friends. In this video we are going to make an orthographic view for this 3D component which we created here. Just save our component in corresponding location. Then go to the file and click new and select a drawing window and click OK. Select a required sheet format. Then we have to browse our component which we created previously. Then we have to make a projection view. Just create a 3D view of the component by using a position view. Then we have to move the projection view inside the sheet by using a move icon. First one is we are going to discuss about scaling view. Compared to our sheet size the view is very smaller in visualization so just you have to select a type of view which you want to make larger i just select a 3d view and go to the use custom scale option and select a ratio to appear larger or smaller as per selected ratios now the component is go to smaller while we specify the ratio is 2 is to 1 the view is larger this is the main use of scaling view next one is auxiliary view auxiliary view is nothing but you have to select a reference edge in your existing view to generate the new view with corresponding to selected edges. You can also move the component inside the sheets. Then click OK. After moving the all view inside the sheets, we are going to discuss about this section view. The section view is used to for cut section of the component. Go to the section view, we have a cutting line options, horizontal, vertical or incline and multiple point cuttings. I just select a vertical cutting line and then select a corresponding place of cutting line you have to create a section view then click ok now the section view is automatically generated here you can place a tracker question where you want the main use of section view is to show the hollow areas and hole areas the hatching areas describe that it have a material the area in a section view which does not having a hatching it is having the holes or hollow area likewise you can utilize the section view by just specifying the cutting line positions as per your requirement now we create a section view successfully 
Likewise, you can create an inclined section view or horizontal section view as per your requirement. The procedure is same for all. Next, we are going to discuss about detail view. Detail view is used for enlarge the particular area in the diagram. After selecting detail view, automatically it shows the circle option to generate the detail view of the component. I just draw the circle at the top of the view. The view inside the circle is automatically get enlarged by scaling higher. Next we are going to discuss about broken out section view. And just select a broken out section view. It is only applicable for 3D views. After selecting a broken section view, the automatically the spline is appear. So you have to just draw the spline where you want to create a broken out view. Then you have to select a reference edge in your depth to create a broken out section. Then click OK. Now the broken out section view is created here. Next we have a break view. The break view is used for simple large component to split the single view. By using a break view, we just break the view into the two. Then we have to use a crop view option. Before that, we have to draw the sketch. I have just draw the rectangle where I want to crop the view. It is just like a cropping the image. After drawing the rectangle, you have to go for your view layout and select a crop view option. The crop view is cannot generated here. You have to just draw the rectangle again to generate the crop view. I just draw the rectangle here. Then go to the view layout and select a crop view. Now the view inside the rectangle is automatically cropped here. 